Welcome to RCC's Rocky Railway BBS, where we learn how Jesus' power pulls us through. No, no, it's fine. Just leave it there. You'll be fine. Just stay there and wait. Wow, Cam, what is going on? You look pretty steamed up. <laughs> it's almost like you're going off the rails. You wouldn't understand. It's a train engineer thing. I mean, oh yeah, well, try me. I bet I can track with you. You're not helping. Ugh. Really? Do you have to do with all the train jokes? Wait, one more. I'm listening. In fact, I'm all engine ears. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna listen. Fine. So... Basically, we have uh, two guys that are always running the train. Myself, the engineer, and then the firefighter. Hmm. Um, like a fireman? Like a guy with a big red, red truck and a Dalmatian? No! Oh. On a train, the fireman is the guy that shovels the coal into the engine so that it warms up the boiler and the steam pushes the train to go. Um, I'm tracking so far. There's a new fireman on my crew, and it, he's driving me insane. <sighs> he's never ever stops talking. <sighs> hey Cam, what's your favorite color? Mine's purple. How old are you? Wow, that's really old. Were you alive when trains were invented? Jeez. <sighs> so many questions, it just won't stop. <sighs> understand what it's like. It's just non-stop. Like, you're just trying to do your job and you won't stop asking questions. Okay, I think I have a pretty good idea of what that's like. Cam, loving others is such an important part of life. Even when it's hard to be a good friend, you can ask Jesus for his help. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. But what if... Just, what if someone just won't stop talking? Well, Jesus' power helps us be good friends. You gotta trust Jesus. I mean, you can pray about it, and you can ask Jesus for his strength and patience and for the eyes to see your new crew member the way Jesus sees him. I mean, maybe this guy needs a listening ear. Maybe he's lonely. And sometimes the people who annoy us the most are the ones who need our friendship the most. Well, I have a long haul ahead of us on our next journey, so I guess I'll get a lot of practice in. I'm just going to have to need Jesus' power. Will you pray for me, just like you were talking about? Of course! We're going to wrap up here, and then I'll pray with you before you leave on your new trip. And who knows, maybe Jesus put this new guy on your crew so you can show Jesus' love in exactly the way he needs, like no one else. Wow! I have a special role. I guess I can go and show him Jesus' love. I gotta go pack up some stuff first, but when I come back, then we can pray. All right, I'll see you later, later. Welcome to our last day at the Rocky Railway, where we're learning that Jesus pulls us through all the ups and downs. Let's sing the song, Your Power Will Pull Us Through and Celebrate. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. 
this journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting. having everyone ride the rails with us at the Rocky Railroad. A long time ago, trains were the best way to travel far away on a long trip. Do you have any memories of a long trip that you took? Maybe camping in the car, on a train, on a plane? How was it? When people started using trains in North America, they couldn't get all the way across the United States on one train. There was a train that covered part of the country and another train that covered the other part of the country. Finally, they made it so that the tracks connected. It was such a big deal that they put a solid gold spike right on the train tracks. Now, the whole country is connected. This week, we are learning how we're connected through Jesus' power. That really makes me want to celebrate. Let's sing a worship song called, We Can Trust Him.
we've been celebrating Jesus' power and God's awesomeness by sharing God sightings. God sightings are just evidence of God. We see them here at church, at school, at home, at the park, at the pool, everywhere. We can trust Jesus and his Father God to know that he is at work everywhere around us. Let's sing Everywhere I Go. There's a spirit I cannot contain. There's a spirit I cannot contain. The same power that raised Jesus up from the grave. The same spirit I cannot contain. I heard everyone was steaming ahead with the last day of Rocky Railway. Glad you're here. I'm Lawrence Elk. Not a moose, not a ram, but an excellent elk. Male elks are called bulls, and me and my bull buddies like to hang out way up in the Rocky Mountains. In the winter, we move down where we can find grass. But in the spring and summer, we head for the hills. It's important that we stick together with the herd. Some elk herds are as big as 400 friends. Although my antlers are big and strong, female elk or babies don't have these. And a hungry bear is hard to fight off. Speaking of these amazing antlers, they are pretty incredible if I do say so myself. Sometimes they come in handy when other herds get too close to mine. Or I need to show another bull that I'm in charge. Yeah, sometimes we butt heads, even in our happy herd. But I try not to get too attached. Literally, they fall off every year and I grow a new set. How cool is that? God also gave me a unique power to help me communicate with the herd. <clears throat> Um. That's called bugling. It's a little like roaring and whistling at the same time. It keeps my herd close together where we can be safe. Our herd even has scouts. 
A few elk who stand watch while others graze. We have to look out for each other. Do you have friends who look out for you? Friends you like to call out to when you're sad or silly, happy or hurting? Or do you sometimes butt heads with your buddies? Maybe you need the power to forgive and love a friend when you're not getting along. You don't have to do that all by yourself. Jesus gives you his power to help be a good friend. Jesus gave this powerful command in the Bible. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. If you're butting heads with your buddies and not getting along, you can trust Jesus' power and follow his words. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! Lawrence the Elk helped to teach us that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! Let's sing a song to celebrate Jesus' awesomeness!
<laughs> Today we're learning about Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust, Trust Jesus! Jesus' Jesus's first followers, the first Christians, had a sort of inner circle. But they didn't try and keep everyone out. They wanted to invite everyone inside that inner circle. After Jesus died and came back to life, he went back into heaven. His followers and friends had told as many people as they could about Jesus. You heard a little about Peter and John's adventure, and those people told people, and those people told people, and well, you get the picture. It's kind of how we heard about it, too. Pretty soon, lots of people believed in Jesus. Woohoo! And here's what it says in the Bible about those believers. Open your Bibles to Acts 2. And it reads, All the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to the sharing of meals, including the Last Supper, and to prayer. So they're eating together, praising Jesus together, hanging out together like we are here, and sharing with each other. Jesus' power made those believers good friends. They wanted everyone else to join them and become friends of Jesus, too. Let's celebrate what we've learned about Jesus and his power this week so we can tell other people about it. Woo! When we give our hearts to our friends Jesus, we get a lot of other friends, too. We get each other. Jesus said that we treat each other as friends. That shows other people who don't know Jesus that he's real. Uh, go ahead and join hands, guys. Um, when we're together as friends, it sends a signal that Jesus is with us and that we know him. It's a signal that others can see. Our friendships matter. They help us show Jesus' love to others, and we can show Jesus' love to one another, too. It's important that we stay connected with other friends of Jesus. If this is your church, then let's stay connected with friends here. If you go to another church, then you can stay connected with your friends of Jesus there. And if you don't go to a church, you're welcome to join us here at Remembrance and stay connected with Jesus here. But no matter what you do, please stay close to the friends of Jesus. And remember, we've discovered about Jesus' power. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus! Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus! And Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! Jesus. And lastly, Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Welcome back to Kid Vid Cinema. I can't believe it's our last day together. I've had so much fun getting to know you guys and listening to your stories. And I've had fun getting to meet all our new friends in the Kid Vid videos each day. Now, we're ready to meet one more friend and watch our last Kid Vid cinema video. Are you ready? I can't wait to see who we'll meet today. Hi, I'm Renee and I'm 10 years old. Hi, I'm Alina and I'm 11 years old. Renee and Alina are great friends and they live in the beautiful desert of Southern Arizona. They love to hang out and be silly together. Their friendship has grown after they both joined an arts ministry at their church. Um, Ansel's Manos is a creative art ministry. We do puppets, we do shows, we do skits, and stuff like that. Ansel's Manos is Spanish for In His Hands. It's an art ministry that uses performance to share the love of God. There is dancing, acting, and music. My favorite thing about performing is probably looking, like, um, at the end looking at, like, all the kids all smiling and laughing and liking it. Sometimes performances are serious and sometimes they're fun and silly. Regardless of being silly or not, one thing is true. Being a part of Ansus Manos has brought the entire team closer together. This puppet ministry helped us become better friends. And it's not just like me and her. Like other people? A lot more. Basically the whole group. Our group, like before, like we were all friends, like we were chill, but now we're like, we're like really, really good friends. And like we're always hanging out. We're always like laughing, making jokes. 
Jesus has used the ministry to bring the team together. This team of friends help each other to do the best they can to share God's love. My friends, like, they help me not be nervous because, like, they were doing, they were doing it too and they were nervous, but at the same time, they, they supported us. I was with my friends and I knew a lot of people in, from church, so it wasn't that, that scary anymore. Serving Jesus together has helped Lena and Renee become great friends, but they both know who the best friend is, Jesus. He, he's like one of our like bestest friends ever. He is. <laughs> yeah. Renee and Alina know that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Jesus helps me make friends. Um, like God knows that I'm doing like this whole ministry for him. And so it just helped me like become better friends with people. So he helped me like be friends with a lot of people, but still like worship him and praise him. In the Bible, in the book of John chapter 15, verse 12, it says, love each other in the same way I have loved you. Jesus loved us all equally. So we should love everybody because as he says in the Bible, we're all brothers and sisters and love your enemies. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. What a good story about good friends. In your life, think about what do you look for in a good friend? For me, I like to think a good friend to be there for me, to be available to talk to, to be alongside me whenever it's inconvenient for them. That's a good friend. I've had many friends like that. I'm very thankful. One of them sitting right over here. What about you? Hmm. Those are great ideas, but something I found in my life is that friendships don't always work out as well as the relationship that Renee and Alina have. Sometimes you think someone is a friend, but then something happens to change your mind. Maybe the person you thought was a friend talks behind your back, or made fun of you, or maybe you hurt a friend's feelings, and that friendship ended. Good friendships are special and very important in our lives, but that doesn't mean friendships are always easy. That's why I'm so grateful that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. You know, the Bible has some great advice about friendship. Let's see what the Bible has to say. Today's verse comes from John 15, verse 12. Listen to what the Bible says. This is my command. Love each other in the same way that I have loved you. All week at Rocky Railway, we've been learning about Jesus' power, and today we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. I love in this Bible verse how Jesus gives us advice about how to be good friends. Jesus tells us to love each other in the same way that he has loved us. Let's think back to what we've learned this week and see what we can discover about loving each other like Jesus loves us. In our video for today, we've learned how Renee and Aline help each other not to be nervous before performance. So that's one way to help a friend be bold. What are other ways that you can think of to help friends be bold? Those are wonderful thoughts. Jesus is the best friend of all time. If we listen to him and follow his example, we can be good friends to others. Let's talk to Jesus before we close. Today, we'll do our final prayer time in a special way. Since it's our last day at the Imagination Station, it's finally time to make our wood power beats. You see, steam trains, they use power by using wood or coal. And we're going to make wood power beads to remind us of the power we have. Now, obviously, we're talking about Jesus. We have Jesus as our power. Every day at Rocky Railway, we discovered something new about Jesus, his amazing power. And so today, you're going to act a beat around all of this thread to remind you that Jesus, his power in your life is amazing and available. So as you work through the beats, remember that Jesus' power 
helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Welcome to the Rocky Railway final wrap up. Let's sing the power shuffle to celebrate Jesus' power. Today we learned Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. What is one thing that makes someone a good friend? Maybe one example is putting others first. Jesus is the best friend ever because he shares his power with us. Let's sing about the way Jesus' power lives inside of us.
Let's sing in you alone. It is a wonderful song to remind us that Jesus' power is with us anywhere we go, all over our city of Lomita and everywhere.